time signatures explained. 4, 4 time, 3, 4 time, 12, 8 time, and so much more. If you are confused about time signatures, you are at the right place. In this video, you will learn what each number of the time signature means and how it affects the music that you play and listen to. You will also learn the basics about counting time signatures. This is a time signature. It is written at the beginning of the music right after the key signature. Let's start with the basics. The top number of the time signature tells you how many beats you have per measure. And the bottom number tells you what type of note gets one beat. Let's take a look at this another way. The top number tells you how many somethings you have per measure. And the bottom number tells you what is that something. Now let's talk about a couple misconceptions with time signatures. Time signatures change the feel of the beat, but the time signatures do not necessarily change the tempo of the music. I can play a song in slow 4-4 four, four time, and I can play a song in fast 4-4 four, four time. I can play a song in slow 6-8 time, and I can play a song in fast 6-8 time. The, the type of time signature doesn't necessarily tell you how fast to play the song. The tempo marking at the top left corner of the music will tell you that. One more time, the top number tells you how many beats you have every single measure, and the bottom number will tell you what type of note gets one beat. Let's divide up the time signatures into three groups. So every time signature that has a four on the bottom, an eight on the bottom, and then every time signature that has a two on the bottom. Each of these time signatures functions a little bit differently and the note values with a four on the bottom are different from when there's an eight on the bottom of the time signature from when there's a two on the bottom of the time signature. So that is why we are dividing it in those sections. So when there is a four on the bottom of the time signature, the quarter note gets one beat and the half note gets two beats. And the whole note gets four entire beats when we are in any four, four time or three, four time, any time signature that has a four on the bottom. And then these eighth notes here, they get half a beat each. Time signatures. So in four, four time, Okay, yeah, it's your four, four time, go ahead. Okay, more time. That might come in. Four, four time. So in four, four time, we have four beats per measure. So four beats every measure. And the quarter note gets one beat. So that's what the four on the bottom means. Every time you have a time signature with a four on the bottom, the quarter note will get one beat, as we talked about just a minute ago. Looking at this rhythm in four, four time, you can see that we have four four quarter notes that fit into each measure and the measure ends where we have that bar line and then we have a whole note that also gets four beats that fits into the measure. So if we were to write out the counts here it would be one, two, three, four for the first quarter, four quarter notes and then again that whole whole note would also get all four beats. As I said earlier, it depends on how fast your song is. So we can do this slower or we can do this faster depending on the type of song. But 4-4 four, four time doesn't necessarily say you're going to play the song fast or slow. Let's take a look at another rhythmic example in 4-4 four, four time. So here again, I'm going to write out the counts. And let's try counting this. So one, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And here I want to show you that common time is also the same thing as four, four time. This is partly why we call it common time because four, four time is the most common time. So you see we can have exactly the same rhythm in either one and there really is no difference between common time and four, four time. Let's move on to three, four time. So when we have three, four time, the three on top tells us that we have three beats every measure so after every bar line, we're starting off from one and then counting one, two, three when we're writing out the counts. And then the four on the bottom again tells us that the quarter note gets one beat. 
So let's do a little rhythm in three, four times. So we have three quarter notes in the first measure and a dotted half note, which also gets three beats in the second measure. And if we count this out, we're going to count one, two, three, ready, set, go. One, two, three, one, two, three. And like I said before, this could be fast or it could be slow. So I can go one, two, three, one, two, three, or one, two, three, one, two, three. The most important thing is to keep a steady beat and to count the right amount of beats for every measure. The other thing that the time signatures affect is the emphasis of the beat. So in three, four time, we're going to emphasize beat one a little bit more, sometimes even a lot, especially if it's like a waltz beat. So it will sound something like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So we're emphasizing beat one. And in four, four time, we would be emphasizing beat one and putting a small emphasis on beat two so it would be one two three four one two three four one two three four something like that so again uh, where the emphasis of the beat goes changes the feel of the music and now on to two four time. So the four on the bottom still tells us that the quarter note gets one beat as before. And the two on the top now means that there's two beats per measure. So we have two quarter notes, then a half note in the next measure, two quarter notes in a bar line, and the half note in the next measure. And we're going to be emphasizing just beat one of every measure, which will give it kind of a march feel. Let's try counting this. One, two, three. Ready, go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So it will sound something like that. And I can go slow, I can go fast. It really depends on what the tempo marking is on top of the music as well. Here's another time signature with the four on the bottom. This one's less common. It's five, four time, has kind of a cool feel to it. So now we have five beats in every measure and we have four. Uh, the quarter note gets one beat since the four is still on the bottom. So let's clap a rhythm in five, four time. It will feel something like this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So here we have five beats in every measure and the feel of the music changes just a little bit because again, the emphasis, you, emphasis usually goes on the first beat. So our next group of time signatures has an eight on the bottom. And whenever an, there is an eight on the bottom, the eighth note now gets one beat. So it changes the note values. Remember when we had a four on the bottom, the quarter note got one beat. Well, now when there's an eight on the bottom, the eighth note gets one beat. And we will see eighth notes grouped in threes now because most of these are compound time signatures when there's an eight on the bottom. And so there's going to be eighth notes grouped in threes, one, two, three, like that. The quarter note will now get two beats instead of one beat. And the dotted quarter note is going to get three beats instead of one and a half beats as before. And finally, another common one is going to be the dotted half note, which is going to get six beats. And it's going to take up the full measure in six, eight time. The first time signature with an eight on the bottom is three eight time. So the three on top tells us obviously that there is three beats in every measure. And the eight on the bottom tells us that the eighth note gets one beat. So that means that there's going to be three eighth notes in every measure or the equivalent of like a dotted quarter note. And here's a little rhythm in three eight time. You see three eighth notes grouped together in every measure and then the dotted quarter note. So if we were to count this, this would actually be very similar to three, four time. The feel of it was also going to be pretty similar to three, four time. So it's going to be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. 
The next time signature is 6-8 time, also the 8 on the bottom, so the 8th note still gets one beat, and we have 6 beats per measure, so that means we have 6 8th notes that fit into one measure. This one feels a little bit different though, since this is now a compound time signature. So even though the 8th note gets one beat, the 8th note is that one something, so that we have 6 of that something, we have 6 8th notes in every measure, but the eighth notes are grouped in threes and we are going to feel this music as if it is actually in two beats instead of six beats. So we will count one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. You can feel that there's an emphasis on the one and on the four. If a conductor is conducting this, they will, will always conduct in two. And so you will see them go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, with two waves of the arm for each measure and that helps the orchestra or the choir to feel the music in two as well. So when you are playing music in 6-8, you can count those six beats per measure, but remember that when you're playing, you don't want to feel every single beat like you would like talking every single syllable like this. You want to feel three of the beats together and that will give the music some flight as well. 9-8 time is another compound time signature. Still have that 8 on the bottom and then the 9 on top means we have 9 beats every measure so that's 9 eighth notes per measure. But counting to 9 in a measure already is going to uh, be a little bit tedious. So when we see this music, we're going to feel it in three, in three large beats. So it feels like every beat is just divided into three instead of into two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, something like that. When you're playing this music, just know which beats to emphasize. So you have a larger emphasis on the first beat and then a smaller emphasis on beat four and then beat seven. Even though you can put technically any number on top of a time signature with an eight on the bottom. So it could be seven, eight time, 11, eight time. We're just going to go over one more and that's going to be 12, eight time. 12, eight time is another compound time signature. This one is, is similar to four, four time because even though there's 12 beats per measure, it's going to feel like four large beats with that are divided into threes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Finally, let's go over the third group of time signatures, and that's the time signatures that have a two on the bottom. So if there's a two on the bottom of the time signature, that means that the half note gets one beat now. And um, if there's a two on top, that means you have two beats per measure. So remember, the bottom number changes the note value. So when there's a two on the bottom, the half note gets one beat. The whole note gets two beats instead of four beats like we did before, like we had before. The quarter note only gets half a beat. The eighth note gets a quarter of, of a beat. And the main thing that you will see in a time signature that is like in two, two, with a two on top and two on the bottom, is that it is twice as fast as four, four time. Now I mentioned earlier that with most time signatures, you can play fast or slow or medium, and it really depends on the tempo marking. With this particular time signature, 2-2 two, two time, or we can also call it cut time, it does mean play twice as fast fast to feel the music in two instead of four. What you will see is that the actual music, the notes in the music for two two time or cut time will look so similar to anything in four four time. So cut time and four four time can look exactly the same, but the feel of the music is going to be a little bit different. Two two time is going to feel a little bit more like two four time with only two 
beats per measure. If you found this helpful and if you would like to learn more about time signatures, I do have a whole playlist on my channel, so go and check that out. I will link that in the description below and in the cards at the end. Also, I will have a class coming out very soon in just a few weeks here about how to read music in 30 days. And this is going to go over all of the details of reading music, especially for playing the piano. But if you're doing another instrument like the flute or the saxophone, this will also be very helpful. Uh, and it will go over everything from the beginnings of note values, reading rhythms, and reading the notes on the staff in both treble clef and bass clef, all the ledger lines. If that is interesting to you, don't forget to look down for the link below in the description so that you can get notified when my course is out and so that you will not miss it. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below any questions you have left for me with time signatures and definitely check out the playlist with more videos on time signatures. Thank you for watching.